Hi everybody, this is Gary Fong, and in this video we're going to address a topic that everybody's curious about is how to pose. I've got so many questions on how exactly should a, a person pose, and I thought it would be a great idea to bring in a very busy professional model from Los Angeles, Trish Richardson, and uh, who's done just a ton of work, and you can see her website. Where's your website? Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem, and just search for Trisha Richardson. Right, okay, and you'll see her portfolio of work, but I thought it would be just great if we could just interview and uh, find out exactly what goes into the training of a model and, and uh, you know, what you're thinking during the shoot and everything like that. So, and I'll explain in another video what to uh, do, but I want to find out how to pose, right? So, in a situation, say for example, that, you know, you're on vacation and you want to take pictures of your wife or whatever, and she doesn't know how to stand. Like, let's just say the Asian tourist pose, right? Where you're standing in front of the UCLA sign like soldiers. Um, tell me what you do. Uh, let's just say that you're just a, a person and you want to look good for that first shot. That, what would you do? I would definitely, if you were smiling, make this smile genuine. Okay. Not a fake half smile. How do you do that? Just be totally happy. <laughs> okay, so you have to be happy. <laughs> right, okay. And then standing and yeah, angle. Yeah. Standing, I would always say give an angle somehow. You don't want to be flat, straight on. Make it a little interesting. You move to the side. Maybe throw a little knee out there. Maybe a little hand up or something. Make it look... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so did you, like, say, for example, do you have a regimen of poses, like a yoga class, where you'd say, okay, we're going to go from, you know, plank to downward facing dog? I mean, do you actually have in your mind memorized angles? Yes, okay. Always do the it's the angles where you want to throw like a limb out there somewhere, make some distance from your body. Okay. A little, either an arm, a leg. Okay. Definitely arch the back. Okay. Very important. Uh huh. Suck the tummy in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember, what movie was that, Zoolander, where he had that one pose that was Remington, what was that called? Uh, Blue Steel. Blue Steel. <laughs> that was a look. Right, that was a look. Okay, do you have looks memorized? Not yeah. duck face, but I mean, because everyone's got duck face, but. You have the, the sexy look. Well, I, you know what, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to the camera and we're actually going to do some shots and I'd like you to narrate what, what it is that, you know, you're doing. Okay, so you've memorized a number of... Uh, tell me what's the difference between a pose and a look. Well, a pose, it's you're, you're using your whole body, whereas a look is you're using your facial expressions to set the mood for the picture. Okay, so this is natural to you, but just imagine that you're a person who knows nothing about the camera. And, uh, well, I need to ask you, how many different looks do you have memorized? Um, look? Yeah. I would probably say five. Okay. Can we shoot them right now? Let's shoot the five five looks. Okay, first one. Okay, and what's that one called? Super happy. Okay, <laughs> all right, this is awesome. Okay. And then you have the sexy. Okay. Bedroom eyes. Okay. And then you have the... Okay, what's playful. that one? Okay, that's playful. Okay, so we've had, we've had uh, happy, sexy, playful. Okay. The, a little bit angry. Oh, okay. I don't know what that's for. That's for uh, injury, accident, injury attorney. Bad, right? Have you been hurt in an accident? Okay. <laughs> and then we have the bedroom come here. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Great. And then the thinking. Okay. Now, I noticed that you're looking in different direction. Is that part of it also is that sometimes, you know, you want to be off looking to the side? Like, okay, so for example, um, those of you who are watching me shoot have noticed I haven't done anything. I'm just pressing a button. Um, but so when you're in front of a camera, a photographer, it would be very easy to shoot you because you're going to go from one to the other. And you've memorized these poses, right? Yes. Yeah. So, do you suggest that a person memorize certain poses? I definitely do. Okay. Memorize, practice. Before a photo shoot, I always look in the mirror with every, every shoot I do and practice every pose and see how it looks and 
It's always moving your head, tilting your head a little ways to the left or to the right. You can get a lot of different looks just by doing something so subtle. Right, because a person's face is asymmetrical, yeah. right? So one eye could be bigger than the other and, and things like that. Right. It, it hides flaws. It makes your new... Um, call it your cheekbone <laughs> look a little bit longer oh like you're well tell me about that more defined, you get uh -huh. more defined and are you actually trying to jut out the cheekbone to make it more defined yes well so, yeah it's more like instead of just a flat or either either a round face uh -huh. or something like that seems a little bit more like edgy are you shifting your body at all to bring the chin forward or back, or is it just stationary when you do the looks? Just stationary when you do the looks. Okay. Um, is that in, ever a part of it? Like, you know, leaning forward? Because like I... The playful one would be like... Oh, I got it. Or, right. The happy... <laughs> right, right. Okay. And then, um, because I've always told photographers that when you have heavier people, uh, you know, try to make sure that that chin, shoot at a higher angle and try to make sure that that chin is not, yes. you know, uh, You definitely don't want to put up. your chin too high up, though, because then it looks like you're looking up someone's nose. It's never good. It's always good to look a little bit more down, uh -huh. more, uh, to the left or to the right, and you kind of makes you... It's like a long neck, too, always looks really good. You want to show the neck. Oh, okay. I never heard that before. Well, it's, I don't know what it is, but something. Okay. <laughs> with a long neck looks good. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about posing and, um, because I'm real curious about that. So we're in front of, uh, the Statue of Liberty. What would you do? <laughs> if you're a tourist. <laughs> I mean, what, what should a person do? Right, but how can, like, just say a regular girl always just look better for photos? Just throw a little hip into it. Okay. Or a little knee. Okay, now I've, I've just noticed actually two things. The first one, do the first one, and uh, when you said throw your hip into it. Okay, uh, the other way. Because, see, what happened there was is completely, you were making almost a Z, a Z shape. Correct. Right, your neck is going that way, then your torso is going this way, and then your uh, knees are kind of going that way. Okay, so uh, tell me about posing. Like, what's the first thing that a person should do to make their body less awkward in front of a camera? Uh, do a little bit of an angles, with, either with your arms or your legs. Maybe move them to the side a little bit. Okay. Definitely arch the back. Okay. Arch, suck in the belly. Okay. You never want anything hanging out and looking odd. Okay. Uh, maybe throw out a leg. Sometimes an arm helps. Hip there. Now, I notice when you're doing that, you're shifting a lot of things around. Are these things that you practiced also? Always. Yes. Okay, so how many different body poses do you have? Quite a few. I'd say about 30 or 40. What are the basics that you're thinking about? Because, you know, dancers always look pretty good because they have coordinated moves. They don't have, well, I, I don't have coordinated moves, but <laughs> but dancers, you know, they, they really know. How, is it what you're thinking? Is you're thinking like a dancer? Well, you definitely want to make it look comfortable, not awkward. Okay. Um, you don't want anything like gripping anywhere. If you have a hand there, you want to make it look very soft. Um, tell me about the gripping. Like, if you had your hand here, you don't want it to be like holding tight, or if you're holding onto any kind of prop when you're shooting a, when you're doing a photo shoot, you want to make it look like comfortable and natural and just like easy and it's nothing's uncomfortable. Okay. So if a, if a person wanted to go into modeling and they wanted to say, for example, just kind of memorize poses, yes. would you just say stand in front of a full length mirror? I would say stand in front of a full length mirror, move your side, your body from side to side, throwing out your right leg or your left leg, your right arm, your left arm, and just see which looks best for your body type. If you have long legs, then you definitely want to accentuate the long legs and show how long they are. If you have long arms, you definitely want to put some kind of angle away from your body so there's a distance between your body and your arm. And maybe do something a little bit on the side. Shooting forward never really, it makes you look a little boxy. Right. Boxy. What's not facing the camera? Is it your shoulders or your waist or off? Your shoulders and okay. your waist. Okay. You definitely want to have some kind of angle between the shoulders and the waist. Okay, so the shoulders cannot be square, the waist cannot be square onto the camera. If, you're, if your shoulders are square to the camera, then you might want to throw a hip out. Okay. Or if your hips, then you might want to throw like something on the top out. 
Okay. Show me about um, hands, like when you're putting together, because the thing I always find is when a person's trying to memorize poses or something like that, what do you do with your freaking hands? Well, always keep them in the picture, like in the frame. You want to have them in the frame because it would look weird if my arms were, hands were missing from this picture. Are we talking about a three quarter or full length? Um, because a headshot, the hands aren't going to be in it, right? Well, they could be in it. Okay. You want to make it a little more interesting where you could have them on your face. Okay. Or... Like this. Okay. But if you're going to have one hand in the picture, you definitely have to have both hands in the picture. You definitely want to make sure like both hands, because it, it would look a little awkward. If to just have one hand. Just have one. Okay. So show me like maybe four different ones using your hands. Okay. That would be a three quarter length. Three quarter because your hips, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Now both hands are showing because that's three quarter. Yeah. Okay. I'll always make it look like. Okay. Very Gentle, not rough. You make it look so natural. Uh, that, that's just practice, right? Just practice. Yeah, because if I were to do that, it'd look like I've got an itch, right? <laughs> okay, what other, uh, what other tips do you have? Uh, you said something about if you have certain things, accentuate those. So uh, long arms, long legs, how would you accentuate that? Well, definitely <laughs> like separating them from your body and making them Oh, I see. So point your toe and yeah. lean on per... I see. Toe pointing is really good. Okay. If your legs look a little longer. Um, if you have arms, like if, you, if your arm is in the picture, you want to make it look farther away from your body. You don't want to be like this. Oh, good point. You just want it to be like a little bit more separated so the space between your head and your arm is separated. I see. Or if you want to have them on your hips, you definitely want to put them out instead of putting them... Oh. Shoulders up and back. Interesting. Yeah, and always keep your head up. And, or you can put it down sometimes. Uh huh. If you have a long neck, it's always good to accentuate the neck. Do you never let the hands just hang? Well, you can let the hands just hang sometimes, but I'm just trying to think of a pose that would be really good with that. It's kind of hard. Full length swimsuit, maybe? Would you? A full swimsuit, I wouldn't just stand there. Okay. Because then you're just standing there. Okay. So and tell me what you would do, like, for a full length. See, even here, I'm kind of like putting my left shoulder up. And yep. Shoulder down. Right. So you're still always doing something. Okay. You would want to touch your, like put your hands on your legs. Or so that they're not. Or somewhere to make it look like it's just a natural pose, not forced. Nothing's forced. I don't know how you do that, though, because it, it looks unforced, but you're doing it, right? I think if I were to stick my hands like whatever, it would look like my tummy hurt or something, right? <laughs> yeah, no, you just make it look natural, sinewer. Uh huh. That's really neat because a person could just like not know what they're doing. They could just photograph you, right? <laughs> so that's really cool. Um, any other tips that you can think of? Um, what about just straight headshots, like just really close portraiture? What do you do with your face? Uh, uh, straight headshots, I would say you keep your eye, your chin down, mm -hmm. put your chin too far up because then you can see up your nose. Okay. Also too, if you put your chin up too far, then you lose your cheekbone structure. Okay. It's always nice to see. Okay. Obviously, some models would like to maybe suck in their cheeks a little bit. Oh, interesting. Gives it a little bit of shadowing. Huh. A little bit more higher cheekbones are shown. Okay. And when you're looking into the camera straight on, you definitely want to give that intense look, a stare almost, where you're very into it. And that, uh, and that's really visible in terms of like what winds up as the effect. Yeah. Like you actually think I'm going to pierce that glass with my laser eyeballs. It's all in the eye. Really? That's so interesting. <laughs> well, good. <laughs> Well, um, I'm just trying to think what else the person would, would want to ask you because this is such a rare opportunity to ask like a really super busy model like, you know, what to do. Okay, what about, um, say, uh, turning to the side or backwards? Oh, backwards. You definitely want to make sure that some kind of part of your face because you never want it to be just backwards. Right. But if, you were, if you're looking over to your left shoulder or your right shoulder, then you can see the cheekbone and you can even make um, eye contact with a part around where you, the camera's still seeing your eye. Oh, I see. So then it's like more of a picture of a model as opposed to just the back. Okay. And then also arching your back is really good if you use a back shot. Uh-huh. And again, too, like if you are going to throw an arm or a knee out, make sure it's accentuated so it's visible, not just flat. The reason I'm, I'm asking that is because that's a really good one for brides. Oh, because they like to see the train, right? They like to see the train, but I would 
personally think that they would also want to see someone of their face too instead of okay you know you want to see their face like that could be a picture of any ride right do we do the chin high or low when you turn your back? Uh, you could either do it high where you're looking up, uh -huh. because I'm not looking directly at the camera, so they're not going to see out my nose. Right, right, okay. So high would be like accentuating the neck. Okay. Or you could do it low where it's more thoughtful and you're looking down. Okay, that's great. Awesome. So as we close up, just uh, I'll, I'll just do some shots of your full length poses, okay. and then we'll we'll cut to those. But just kind of go through what we would do, and I'll just let the camera fire like. You know, a phot photography session. Okay, great. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Good deal. All right. Well, thanks so much. That was super fun and incredibly, like, educational. I am going to do it. I'm going to do all those poses. <laughs> okay. In front of the mirror. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm.